Hey everybody, Scott Bernier here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Glad to see everybody here today. Hope you're having a good day and a good weekend. Um, I'm going to do an OBS Studio video for you today. I've been doing a few, but today is a little different. Have you ever seen somebody that had two cameras where you could switch the views up? Like that. So today... I'm going to show you how to do that. All I'm doing right now is just going in between the scenes on here to where I can show this and then this. So what I've got today, I've got my iPhone XR, my 10R, whatever, whichever way you want to call it. I've got it hooked up through OBS. You can do it on a Mac or Windows 10. You, all you have to do is just a few little things. You can have it hooked up. We can have it hooked up less than 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna double check myself there but I think that's correct so y'all hang with us we're gonna go down on the computer and get started and you'll see my Windows 11 desktop right here so what we're gonna do you got to have a couple of things you have to have uh, your iPhone with a lightning to USB cable and all this will be in the description uh, links for everything So you're going to have a lightning to a USB cable You need to download iTunes and that is in the Microsoft Store. So we're going to go do that now So I'm going to type Well, oh, this is this is super sketchy. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so We can just go to iTunes. We're going to install so once we get iTunes, this is going to allow us to have the driver in Windows. Now, every device you add to a Windows machine has to have a driver that allows Windows to talk to that device. That's, that's all there is. So we're going to download that. It's 200, what, 227 megs. Small download. We're going to open it. We're going to agree to the terms and conditions. We're going to agree to the terms and conditions again. And we're going to sign into the iTunes store. I'm going to do it off camera here. Okay, I am signed into iTunes. Okay, next thing we need, we need to go out and get a plugin for OBS camera. And we're going to go right here. This is the camera for OBS Studio. All right, we're going to go down here. You can use it for Mac or Windows. Windows is Windows 8 and, and above. Um, and down here it says, please also make sure you've installed and ran iTunes at least once. iTunes installs a driver that allows Windows computer to communicate with iOS devices over USB. I said that before. So all right, we're going to download this guy. We're going to hit op open file. We hit yes. We're going to accept the agreement. We had to be awful acceptable today. We're going to hit yes. Oh, another thing, you have to have OBS installed on your computer too, OBS Studio. So there'll be a link to that one too. All right, so now I'm going to screen share my phone and we're going to put the OBS camera app on the phone. Okay, so I got my screen recording on the iPhone. We'll go right over here and go to the App Store. When we get to the App Store, we're going to search for OBS camera. There it is. We're going to hit the cloud button to download. And we're going to hit open. We're greeted to a welcome screen. We're going to hit continue. We're going to go through the setup of allow camera access, allow microphone access. Hit continue. We're going to hit continue. And there it is. Ready to go. Okay, we're back and you have to restart your computer after doing this. Well, I did. I had, I've done it twice and I had to restart my computer both times. So, 
All right, so now I have OBS opened up. This is 27.2.4, and I'm gonna come down here to scenes, like on my previous videos, and you can see those up, up here at the top. I'm gonna put a link to them. You have to have a scene. Here on the scene, I'm gonna say iPhone stream, and you gotta go down and grab a source, and I'm gonna say iOS camera. And I'm just going to leave it iOS camera. Now it's going to ask you to trust and put your um, key back in there or your um, password. And there it found my Scott Burnett's iPhone. And there it is. And now it says USB connected on my phone. We're going to go and Cut the audio down on it. So now that I have this, I can switch over to just my Windows machine. So we'll do that now. But that's how easy it was. I installed two or three things, plugged my phone up, connected. And now y'all can see me over here. And if I go over here, y'all can see me right here. So let me stop this switch back over to the windows machine and show you what it looks like okay here i am back on the windows 11 pc kind of sketchy having to record everything off on the mag and everything but here i am right there straighten myself up so i've got the iphone and i'm i switched i had it recording with the front facing camera i switched it to the rear camera let's uh Go to that, and now you can see I'm on the uh, rear camera of the iPhone. It, uh, it's a really nice sensor on it. See my computer right there? Really like it. It really looks good. See my kid up there? QM2 Burnett, Petty Officer. Proud of him. Go back here. You can see my work from home setup behind me. Go back here. I think this is going to work. Um, I would love to have two Sony ZV 10s. Now that would be the. I, I really like the Sony ZV 10. It really does a good job, and it doesn't eat you out of house and home. So, but I like that. That's going to work good. I've got both images coming back, and I've got this Rode Video Micro tied into the camera I would love to have a sure SM7B but those are 7B prices I'm telling you it's uh, links in the description to everything I gotta remember where I'm at uh, if you have any questions about this leave them down in the comments I answer all of them every one of them and um, I hope you get something out of this I, I hope you I hope you do it, enjoy it, play around with it. That's the biggest thing I do. I play around with stuff and try new things and everything. Even at my advanced stage, I'm still learning to do this. So, so anyway, hope y'all enjoy this. Give me a like. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when I put more content out. <clears throat> I'm going to try to make a video on uh, upgrading to version 28, which has just been released. And uh, we'll sit here and do this. Pretty neat. So anyway, I hope y'all are having a great day today. I hope you're uh, enjoying your time off this weekend. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching. I like it.